Like, oh, you're wearing my grandma's sweater, and then you're like, you're dumb? Scarlett Johansson is one talented and well-paid actress, so an A-list lifestyle is practically undeniable. She's more than just a Marvel movie star, though. Scarlett is a little bit of a real estate tycoon, and her three properties couldn't be more different. With a history of buying and selling homes throughout LA, these days she owns a few places, two in New York and one in Los Feliz. Today, we're going to take a look at her upscale mansion. We even found the listing. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Scarlett Johansson is best known for being a successful actress with a ton of A-list movies under her belt. She was the world's highest paid actress in 2018 and 2019 and was featured many times on the Forbes Celebrity 100 list. Born and raised in Manhattan, New York, Scarlett wanted to be an actress since she was young and first appeared on stage in a play as a child actor. By the 90s, she was already acting in movies and scored some bigger roles in the early 2000s. Alex slammed the toilet seat down on his thing again. Considering her films have grossed over $14.3 billion worldwide, this high paid actress also has a healthy bank account. Scarlett's current estimated net worth is at $165 million, raking in $56 million in 2019 alone. In 2018, she threw some of her earnings around with the purchase of a $4 million historic estate in the Sneedon's Landing Enclave of New York, just about a 30 minute drive from Manhattan. At the time, she also already owned her hideaway in the Hampton and her Los Angeles mansion too. Just wait until you see her cozy and private estates. They're a dream for getting away from the paparazzi. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one checking out the three homes of Scarlett Johansson, which are full of charm and personality just like her. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. What seems to be Scarlett's most recent real estate acquisition was a charming New York hideaway in 2018, which she purchased for $4 million. The Black Widow star owns this historic spread located in the quiet but celebrity loved enclave Sneedon's Landing. This area is just over the George Washington Bridge and about a 30 minute drive from Midtown Manhattan, New York. Sneedon's Landing is also known as Palisades, but not to be confused with the Pacific Palisades in LA, and high profile stars seem to love the seclusion and convenience convenient distance from the heart of New York City. In fact, Scarlett's house was once owned by actress Brenda Forbes, who hosted friends like Katherine Hepburn and Noel Coward here in the very same room. Hidden by trees and situated on the highest point of a 0.79 acre plot of land, Scarlett's 1953 colonial style home boasts 4,000 square feet, 4 bedrooms, and 4 baths throughout. The ivy growing on the exterior of the house adds to the rustic charm, so it makes sense that this place is also called Ivy House. The two-story home was designed by architect and Sneedon's Landing resident Erica Googler back in the day, who was known for working on the West Wing of the White House during the time Franklin D. Roosevelt was president. While Scarlett's home is extremely tucked away, she still gets to enjoy amazing views of the Hudson River from nearly every room, along with perfect scenery. The romantic estate has a brick path leading to the front door, and while the entryway isn't mansion-sized, it still has an open feel and boasts hardwood floors. The nearby living room has a large bay window overlooking the river, and there are also bookshelves and a fireplace to add to the cozy charm. French doors lead to an all glass greenhouse, which further leads to the swimming pool out back. The greenhouse with wood beams makes for a perfect indoor outdoor room, and I think it would be perfect on a rainy or stormy day. Scarlett's home has two dining spaces one with floor to ceiling glass sliders, and another in a windowed nook, which looks more casual. The kitchen was upgraded, but still looked a bit dated with the excess of cherry wood cabinets and beige tiling. However, I'm sure since moving in, Scarlett has made some changes. Here there was also a snack bar. The main level also has another den with fireplace, while the upper level hosts the bedrooms. Two of the rooms up here, including Scarlett's stunning master bedroom, open to a balcony with arches and river views. Her master suite offers a vintage fireplace, plenty of natural light, and a large walk-in closet. Ivy House uses wrought iron details throughout, especially on the balconies, which gives the vibe of old New Orleans and a nostalgia 
nostalgic time. The home is bright and spacious despite being cozy, and outside, Scarlett has access to even more amenities. The grounds of the actress's New York hideaway boast enchanting gardens, brick patios and paths, and a charming fountain. For more glamorous features, there's a sprawling swimming pool that's hard to miss, as well as a cabana house. I don't know about you guys, but that pool and cabana has got to be my favorite thing at Scarlett's home so far. Elsewhere, there's a tennis court, two-car garage, and a four-car carriage house at the end of the driveway. It seems one New York hideaway wasn't enough for Scarlett, considering when she purchased that place, she already owned a home in the Hamptons. I'll assume this one is more of a vacation and summer home for the actress, which she bought back in 2013 for $2.2 million. Anyone who's anyone in New York has to own a property in the Hamptons, and considering how pricey real estate here is, it's a place reserved for the rich and famous it seems. This beach house sits on a 1.4 acre lot and inside boasts an open floor plan with features like pinewood floors, a stucco double fireplace, and an epic pool outside. Scarlett's two story getaway is on a long private driveway like you'd expect from the star, and backs up to a land preserve as well as an oceanside state park. Talk about perfect location. Just because it looks like a classic shingled cottage on the exterior covered in vines, once you step foot inside, her home has more of a loft-like and tropical vibe. The residence has been upgraded with plenty of rich wood floors, and the main living space is open concept with a massive double-sided fireplace front and center. There are 3,500 square feet of space throughout the abode, as well as 4 bedrooms and 4.5 baths. All of the dark hardwood in Scarlett's home is contrasted with white bright walls, but I'm not sure how I feel about that combination. Either way, 2013 was almost a decade ago, so she could have done some serious renos to the place since. The front door opens up to the main living room, and here there's a wall of glass doors that opens to a patio with a view. The large formal dining room is open to the kitchen, where I'm sure Scarlett has hosted some A-list friends. The kitchen may be slightly small, but it has every necessity, including a center island and and expensive stainless steel appliances. By the looks of old listing photos, the three guest rooms look slightly over average size with en suites and access to the outdoors. Downstairs, one bedroom has a fireplace and built-in bookshelves, while one, if not more of the upstairs suites, offers a private deck overlooking the pool with a view of the ocean too. Since the Hamptons are made to entertain family and friends as well as host summer parties, Scarlett's vacation home is full of outdoor patios and recreation spaces that embody indoor outdoor living. The back of the home has a pergola shaded dining patio and another covered space reserved for grilling. Even though Scarlett's Hamptons escape is only a few steps from the beach and ocean access, you already know the multi-million dollar house boasts an in-ground swimming pool too. I've never seen the show, so... 2014 seems to have been an especially busy year for Scarlett as she spent a lot of it in France, got married in Montana, and had her first daughter in New York City. Not to mention, she purchased her current estate in Hollywood for $3.3 million, which she still owns and can retreat to when she's on the West Coast. The expansive mansion is tucked away in the neighborhood of Los Feliz, with nearly an acre of land on a peaceful little-known street. This area is historic, affluent, and trendy, located in the foothills between Bronson Canyon and Griffith. Park. Scarlett's house was originally built in the 1940s and boasts four beds and six baths throughout, also having been renovated more recently. While all of the actresses' homes are so unique and different, I can notice one thing they have in common is a down-to-earth feel, despite how much they're worth. Also, each of them has a pool. This gated LA estate is everything you could want in a California home. It offers up dark wood floors, a classy marble mantle in the living room, and features like an all-white kitchen. Walking into Scarlett's sunny home, the main floor living space to seem simple but elegant. There are 3,500 square feet of space throughout, along with four beds, four full baths, and two half baths. The entryway stair hall at the front of her house is quaint, but opens to a step-down living room with plenty of space, as well as glass sliders and the carved marble mantle. Next to this room is a den with more glass sliders and a wet bar, which likely serves as more of a laid-back space. The crisp all-white kitchen has a center island and a casual dining table, and it looks like the perfect spot for Scarlett to enjoy one of her only vices. No, it's not alcohol or drugs. The actress says that her weakness is actually cheese. I feel the same, girl. Put this in here. Oh, yeah. Upstairs, the Starlet's master suite is one of the nicest spots in the home. The room offers a sitting area, fireplace, 
fitted walk-in closet and private balcony with views of the Hollywood sign. If that's not enough, her chic ensuite has skylights and a modern glass shower. Another contender for the nicest spot in the home is definitely the backyard. Scarlett can enjoy relaxing days off from filming at her property, where there's a veranda running along the house leading to the other outdoor amenities. There's a dining terrace with built-in grill, beautiful pool, eight-person spa, and a bonus poolside cabana, because why not? After taking an in-depth look at Scarlett Johansson's three stunning but completely different properties, what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? It seems the Black Widow star has never strayed too far from her hometown of New York City, currently owning one home in the celeb-loved Sneedon's Landing area and a vacation spot in the Hamptons. For when she's in Hollywood, like any A-lister, she has a property there too. Out of all her homes, I gotta say my fave was the historic property we looked at first. It may not be a mansion, but it has so much charm and personality, which I much prefer in a home. Do you guys like the vibe at the Hamptons home or the first New York home better? They both have a pool and water views, but they definitely are styled very differently inside. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Scarlett's homes in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.